Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. I cannot tell you the number of times people have emailed me a link to another photographer's work asking me how that photographer got that look. How did they get that style for their images? Well, most of the time, that photographer captured that style by using a gradient map. In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate how you too could use gradient maps to help you develop a very distinctive style. Now, personally, I like to use gradient maps on portraits, like moody portraits most often, but everyone's different. You could even use gradient maps like on a travel photo if, if that's you know something you want to do. And they're very, very easy to use. Now I have this image here. If I go down here to the adjustment layers, click here, you could see gradient map. So I'll click on that and you could see that it immediately by default turned the image black and white because it put a black and white gradient map on the image. But if I click the little drop down and open this up, you could see that there's basics, blues, pinks, purples, reds, oranges, all different colors. Let's go to blues. So I'll roll that open. You can see there's all these different gradient blues. Let's just pick one. I'll click on it and you can see that it actually ruined the image. But the key here is we're going to change the blend mode and the opacity of the gradient map. So we're going to go to the drop down right here for the blend mode. And we're going to change that to color. It's the second from the bottom. And you could see how it kind of colorized the image. But then we're going to go to opacity. And I like to use what's called the scrubby slider. I just put my cursor right over the word opacity. And you can see the cursor turns into this hand. That's a scrubby slider. Click with the left mouse button and drag to left to lower the opacity. And I'll just keep bringing that opacity down until it just blends just enough, you know, for my taste, for this specific gradient map that I'm using. Now, if you want to go in and try a different color, just double click right on the gradient map part of the layer, go to that drop down again, and we could try something else. Maybe try this one, and then we could come in and readjust opacity more to taste. Again, double click on that, go to the drop down. Let's try a whole different color. Let's go to reds, and we'll try something like red with black, like that, and maybe we'll bring opacity down on this. So quite often when you're looking at someone's work, you'll see that their images just have this kind of tint to them. And that is because they're using a gradient map. Now, there are some legacy gradient maps that most photographers really prefer. Unfortunately, they're not here when, you're, when you go to this drop down. Uh, you have to load them in there. So to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to go up to Window and then down to Gradients right here. And this will bring the Gradients panel up. And then from here, we'll go to this Flyout menu. Click on that. And then we're going to go down here to Legacy Gradients. Click on that. And that's all you did. Now you loaded those in there. So now we'll double click on our Gradient uh, adjustment map layer or gradient map adjustment layer and we'll go to this drop down and you can see legacy gradients we'll roll that open and you can see there's a lot of different um, types here default gradients color harmonies one and two metals neutral density but the specific ones are photographic toning so we'll roll that open and you can see that there's a lot of different photographic toning gradients so here's one Here's one. You can just click through, see which ones you might like. Something like this. I'm just kind of searching through, give you an idea How about something like that. And then again, you could come in and readjust the opacity to taste like that. So very simple thing to use. That's uh, the gradient map adjustment layer. Uh, again, the key thing is first to load it, to go down to this little icon right here, add the gradient map adjustment layer. Once you add that, uh, pick a specific gradient map that you'd like to use. Then once you do that, change the blend mode to color and then adjust the opacity. And don't forget to put in the gradient map panel that's this right here by going up to 
window, gradients, and then once you do that, you can click on this little flyout menu and add the legacy gradients, and you'll get those photographic gradients uh, in that drop down or in this, yeah, this drop down here. And as I said, there's a lot of nice options here that you could use, and maybe you could develop um, your own style. Um, let me know what you think about it, and if you have used this and you have any images on Instagram, tag me in them. I'd like to see them. I'll have my Instagram handle listed in the description below this video. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.